Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this is 100 day challenge on MATLAB loop. The task for today is finding most non-zero row of a matrix. Okay. And I forgot to say this is a day four. Okay. Okay. The task is finding most non-zero row of a matrix. Okay. And the assumption for the task is in the matrix only one such will be there. Okay. So for example, you have a matrix like this. Okay. So the first row consists of 5, 6, 7, 0. The second row has 0, 0, 0, 1. And the third row consists of 1, 0, 1, 0. And the fourth row finally has 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. If you have a matrix like this, my program or my function should return a row number which has only lesser number of zeros. Okay. So in this matrix, I have only 1, 0 in the row number 1. Okay, so if I pass this matrix to my function, it, it will return a value or it will return a row index number 1. Okay, so this is what we are going to do in this program. Okay, before going into the program, I would like to tell you something like uh, this is 100 day challenge for MATLAB loops. Okay, so this sort of task can be done using an inbuilt command like some max max okay but my my now my challenge is to use only matlab loops okay maximum i'll be trying to use matlab loops okay only at times i'll be using inbuilt commands like uh, finding for finding the size of a matrix for finding uh, for printing something okay i'll be using only this two kinds of inbuilt command rest of the inbuilt command i'll be not using for all the purpose i'll be replacing it with the loops okay Okay, so without any delay, let me take you to the MATLAB uh, window. Okay, so this is the MATLAB window uh, script area where I have written this function. My function name is fullest row. Okay, and R is the output variable and A is the input variable where uh, I'm passing the matrix to the function. So once it comes into the function, here I'll be finding the size of the matrix. Okay, number of rows will be taken into M and number of uh, columns will be assigned to the n okay once that that is done my loop starts okay so for i is equal to 1 is to 1 is to m okay so that is for rows okay next i'm assigning a var uh, variable called vec of i okay so which is equal to 0 initially okay and the maximum value is also equal to 0 okay max underscore value is equal to zero these two variables i'm assigning under i okay you have to note it and j is equal to one is to one is to n for the columns okay so once it come into the uh, mean uh, into this inner loop that is the if loop okay where a of i comma j okay a of i comma j it just takes the row and the uh, column is throughout column is uh, checking is done okay if it is not equal to zero okay then my vector variable is there now so it will get incremented okay so for each four rows here uh, we have seen four rows in the matrix right so for each four rows four uh, four times the vector i will be created which means vec is a variable which is which is a vector okay so if the row is 4, then there will be 4 elements in the vector. If there is a 5 elements in the row, sorry, if there is a 5 rows in the uh, matrix, given input matrix, then my vector VEC will have 5 elements. Got it? So, so for each row, I mean, uh, for each entries in a vector is corresponding to the number of rows in the given matrix. Got it? Okay. Now this is done here okay so once all the all the things are done my out this loop this loop no so this loop is to find which value is maximum in the vector okay that is vec okay so which value is maximum the correct that particular index is assigned to the r which is the output variable of the function okay so this is what the function works okay so so let me uh, run it for you okay let me copy this okay and i'm taking you to the command window where a is equal to 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma okay let me have something like this 0 comma 0 comma 0 in the first row and 3 comma 3 comma 3 in the second row or we have one zeros okay and in the third row let me have 5 comma 0 comma 0 okay 
and the fifth row let us have 1 comma 0 comma okay 0 okay so let us have this let us okay something have uh, so okay this first four elements right so here also let me enter four elements here also okay then here also okay now uh, okay so let me have a small correction here total three zeros here let we have two zeros here we have two zeros and here we can change it to one zero okay 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 one zero let us change it okay now can you see the matrix first row has three zeros second row had two zeros and the third row also has two zeros and the fourth row has only one zero right so if i pass it to my function it should return the fourth index i mean fourth row index okay that is r should be equal to four okay let us check whether it is working okay now i'm just pasting it yes r is equal to four okay now let us change it and see okay so now i'm making this uh, zero so the in the last row I'm ma making a small change okay and instead I'm just making it the second row to be the uh, answer let us check so can you see first row has uh, three zeros second has one zero then two zero then three zeros okay now our answer should be three sorry two okay let us check whether it is giving the answer yes okay so this code is working fine okay so i have explained the code how it is working and also i have done the execution also so the task for today is completed if you have any doubt do let me know in the comment section i'm ready to answer your doubts okay so without uh, any further delay let me wrap up the session okay we'll meet you on the next task with a more interesting task okay so till then take care bye bye